<coughs> okay so now we move on to uh, the web authoring activity of the 2018 past paper okay so this is what we see first okay they have given us two images of two web pages and then when you move on to the next page it says activity 3 using web authoring software suggested 35 minutes okay and over here it says you may use any appropriate software for this activity so for this activity we will be using adobe dreamweaver okay so over here it says sammy has started to create a website for croatian badminton league okay the website will have a home page index.html okay so it's important that you remember this the address of the home page is index.html and a page for each team in the league Sammy has already created pages for Athnite All Stars. The address of it is Athnite.html. Brosna Bear's address is Brosna.html. And these pages are shown in figure 1. Okay. So, just giving you a quick uh, explanation of what we have just spoken about so far. It says Sammy has already created. So, the Athnite page and the Brosna pages have already been created by Sammy. And he has given us the addresses of it. The addresses are Athnite.html and Brosna.html. Okay. So your task is to create web pages for the four other teams. The pages must, it must have a dark blue sans serif font. It should have a pale yellow background. It should have links to the home page and the other team pages. Okay. You should use the logo that you created in task AG1. It should have appropriate information for each team selected from web pages. So you should be having a word file called web pages like this. You should be having a file like this and inside this file, you will be able to find the content that you need to put for each web page. So for click here calls, you have to put this. For Dovia Dragons, this. For Early Eagles, this. For Fantan Firestorm, this is the content. Okay. So create four web pages using the layout shown in the screenshots in web pages. So you have to be basically creating a web page with this very same layout. Okay. And over here it says uh, create a web page for click here calls and include the image calls you created. In part B of task AG2 and save the web pages. Click A, click R. Okay. So let's get started. And as I told you previously, I'll be using Dreamweaver. So I'm going to open up Dreamweaver. Okay. Open up Dreamweaver. While Dreamweaver loads, let me quickly go through. This is the layout that we need to be going ahead with. So normally I prefer getting my layout in the form of a table. That way it's very much more easier to arrange the content. So if I look at this, basically we'll be having, this will be one column and this will be another column and this will be another column. Okay. So we'll be having three columns. This will be one row and this will be another row. So we'll be having three columns and two rows. So I'll come over here. I'll say I want a blank HTML document and I'm going to stick in the design view itself. I'm not going to get into the code view. Okay. Stick in the design itself. Come to insert table and I'm going to say I want uh, two rows, two rows, three columns. I'm going to keep my table at 100, the table width at 100% so that it would fit on any screen. Okay. It doesn't matter whether I view it on a big screen or a small screen. Since the width is 100%, it means it has to fit the entire screen. Okay. My borders, I'm not going to keep any borders. So I said I'm keeping my border thickness at zero. And I'm going to click OK. You can see there are some dotted borders appearing, but these dotted borders are only visible in Dreamweaver. Once I view it in the web browser, these borders will not be visible. Okay. So the first thing that I need to do is I need in the first row, first column, I need to be putting the logo. So I'll come over to my folder and the logo is CBL. So control C, come over here, control V, say okay. And let me put the alternate text as logo. In case you do not know what alternate text is, alternate text is basically uh, if the image doesn't load, you can show some text. Okay, so I have put the text logo and I'm saying, okay, it's way too big. So from the corners while holding the shift key, I'm going to make it smaller. Reason I'm holding the shift key and making it smaller is so that it could proportionally become smaller. When the width becomes smaller, the height will also equally become smaller. Okay. And let me adjust this, bring this back to its normal size, pull this. Okay. And this column also, let's adjust them, make them equal. You can see over here column number two and column number three of the first row have been merged. So I'll do the same thing. Select table merge cells. And over here I need to put in capital letters or in uppercase Crucian Badminton League. And you can also see this has been center aligned. So I'll do the same thing over here. Right click align center. And I'll type over here in capital letters Crucian 
badminton league okay and this is the main heading so right click paragraph format heading number one okay this is the main heading of the web page okay and then if you come back to the layout you can see all the hyperlinks are appearing in the second row first column so i'll do the same thing over here i'll be having home sorry home what happened uh, let's put it all in capital letters just like how the paper is saying ethnid all stars and then we have uh, oh they are not in capital letters no my bad just hold on a second uh, let me home ethnid all stars then we have brosna bears then we have click a calls click a calls dovia dragons hairy eagles and fantain storms hope it's correct fantain firestorm fire okay so i have got my links and you can also notice the links have also been center aligned so i'll uh, center align them as well i haven't made them links as such yet i'll be doing that right now so you remember in the question paper they told us that home is equal to index.html okay so i'll do the same thing over here select home and link is index.html and i'm going to press enter ethnid all stars also the same thing when ethnid all stars is clicked it will be going to ethnid.html you remember right in the question they told us over here ethnid all stars goes to ethnid.html so i'll do the same thing over here ethnid.html press enter uh, same with brosna bears also when it is clicked it should go to brosna.html this is what the question paper told us now these four web pages we will be creating so we have to connect this text to the relevant web pages okay so click here calls i haven't created it yet i haven't uh, created it i haven't saved it yet but i'll create the hyperlink so that later on when i when i create it it will automatically get connected okay so look what i do i right click on this and i say make it a link and i tell when this is clicked it should go to my 2017 folder to my 2018 folder which is over here and inside this there will be a file called click a how am i supposed to save it i'll be saving it as click a so it will be click a dot html okay so i'm saying when this is clicked it should go to a file called click a dot html once again i'm telling you again i haven't uh, created this click a file yet but i'm creating the link so once i create the file automatically the file will get connected to this link okay but keep in mind that you must save your file also with the same name so that they can get connected so i say okay okay the same with dovia dragons also i don't have it yet but i'll create the link it should be in the 2018 folder dovia.html say okay uh, same for the early eagles also it's going to be what's the file name okay it's going to be av.html say okay and the same with fantan firestorm 2018 folder fantan.html i say okay so uh, i have created my hyperlinks right now okay okay so uh, continuing now my hyperlinks are done now next what i need is uh, uh, i need to get the content right so over here you can see i need to put the subheading so this is based on click a calls no? so i'll put the subheading uh, click a calls and i'm going to center align it align center and this is a subheading isn't it so i'm going to come to paragraph formatting and say heading number two and then below this i'm going to copy and paste the content of click a calls okay which is over here simple copy and a paste okay that's also done and then i also will need to put a image okay so let me come to my images folder and see if i can find a suitable image uh, have they told me which image to use for click a calls they told me to use the image uh, part b of task ag2 which was the image of calls okay so control c come over here align it center align center and i paste the image i say okay and i'll just say it's called calls now you can see the image is obviously way too big so you can come from the corners while holding the shift key you can make it smaller 
or if you're having difficulty making it smaller you can see when you click on the image at the bottom you get the images width and height and you can see right now this padlock is opened which means that if you change this value it will not proportionally change so what i'm going to do is i'm going to lock it so that when i change the width automatically the height will also change okay so instead of 1908 i'm going to make it uh, 1000 and i'm going to press enter one more zero so see automatically the height also changed okay and now just come and double click on one of your borders to make it auto adjust okay uh, still image looks i think way too big let's make it uh, around uh, i think 500 let's see okay that looks better again i'll double click on the border to make it auto adjust okay that looks much better okay so uh, also do not forget that uh, you have to use a dark blue sans serif font okay this it should be a dark blue sans serif font and a pale yellow background okay so uh, let me come back to modify page properties and i'm going to say that the text color should be dark blue and the background should be pale yellow okay pale yellow dark blue and the font should be a sans serif font so over here you can see font uh, let's search for microsoft sans serif or we have a sans serif font uh, over here you can use any of the sans serif fonts they, they, they have just said a sans serif font right okay so you can use any of the sans serif fonts so uh, you can use this second one itself if you like or else let's see if you can find microsoft uh, microsoft sans serif okay that works okay so microsoft sans serif can also be applied okay let me just show you what i did again i put microsoft sans serif and i pressed enter text color background color all done okay so uh, i guess that's it there is nothing else to be done to the web page so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to be saving my web pages click a okay so i'm just going to come here save and save it as click a make sure you are saving in the 2018 folder itself okay and you don't need to put dot html because dreamweaver will be doing that for you dreamweaver on its own will be putting the dot html part for you so i click on save and my file has got saved okay now i also have to create a uh, page for dovia i have to create a page for Uri. okay so i'm not going to start from zero i'm going to use the same layout for the other web pages as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a copy of this i'm going to come and say file save as and i'm going to save the next one as the next one is supposed to be dovia so i'm going to save the next one as dovia okay the next web page so now you can see i have a click here and i also have a dovia web page so here everything else is going to be the same only the image and the content over here is going to change isn't it so let me copy and paste the dovia content Control c Control v okay this is going to be a subheading so right click paragraph format heading number two oh i have to keep a space one enter and uh, you can make this heading number two and instead of this image they haven't told you a specific image to use uh, you can they said include an appropriate image so uh, in my images folder i'll just take an image that i think is the best maybe i'll take uh, this one so Control c come over here Control v and i'll just say winners and yeah this looks fine okay dovia dragons okay everything else is the same so now i'm going to save this now i need to make the next web page the next web page is going to be uh, re okay so once again i'm going to use the same layout so i'm going to save this as e, uh, re okay dot html part will be done by uh, dreamweaver itself i click save so you can see now Uri has also been created once again the content has to change so i'll just come over here copy this paste it keep a space after Uri. this is a subheading so paragraph format heading number two delete this image get another image that you think is suitable maybe this serving picture i'll press space and i'll say serving enter this looks fine too okay so early is also completed you can see it's pretty simple okay once you get the first page done everything else is very very easy okay and then finally you also need a image you need a web page for fan 10 here also you create it put an appropriate image okay so once again i'm going to save this as uh, fan 10 save so you can see now i have my fourth web page once again the content should only change so Control c 
and then just do a control V over here keep a space that I can make this a subheading I hope I'm not going too fast I hope uh, you can keep up with me but like I have been telling from the beginning if you ever have any questions you want me to uh, what do you call do something that you did not understand you can always drop a comment below or you can e email me directly okay uh, so we also need an appropriate image so I'll just take maybe this shuttlecock image control C control V and I'll just say shuttlecock okay there you go so Fantan is also done and I'm gonna click on save so all four web pages have been done in a very short time okay because all of them had the same layout all of them had the same heading they had the same logo they all had the same hyperlinks okay we just had to change these two only okay so once you're done with that up to here it says make sure that your web pages are fit for purpose so let's open our web pages in the web browser in, in google chrome or edge or whatever it is and let's see if they work properly okay so let's open the first one click here and let's just see the hyperlinks are working first below let me click on home and I click on home you can see it's going to index.html which is correct let's click on Athnaid. yes it's going to ethnid.html which is correct brosna brosna is going to brosna.html uh, click here is coming back to the same page dovia dragons is working eerie eagles working fantan firestorm working okay so it seems like everything is fine and uh, fitting what you call fit for purpose okay then the next question says uh, so this part onwards uh, open a new document using word processing software enter task wa1 your name candidate number and center number in the photo of the document and save the document as task wa1 okay so let's get on it please make sure you're saving it in the same 2018 folder try and have all your folders in try and have all your files in one location okay so i'll right click over here new word document uh, task wa1 open it and immediately I'm going to head down for the uh, footer double click over here and uh, I'm supposed to be putting task WA1 your name candidate number and your center number okay so just double click on the middle of the page to come out of it and over here it says for each of the four pages you created for each of the four pages you created display the page on the screen make sure all content is visible take a screenshot paste a screenshot into task w a1 okay so let me start with the first web page that i created i'm going to click on the print screen button i'm going to press my keyboard's print screen button i'm going to come to task w a1 control v okay if you're having issues with the print screen button you can always use the snipping tool okay this tool can be used uh, so the next one that i need is the next web page that we have created is dovia dragons print screen come here control V then the next one is uh, the Eagles print screen control V and finally we have Fantan Firestorm print screen control V okay so super simple stuff okay which can be done in a quick it can be done in a very short time as well okay uh, obviously if you're having any questions any doubts or if I'm going too fast do let me know in the comment section or drop me a message that you want me to uh, go through again with you okay I'll be very happy to help you out uh so then it goes on to say make sure that all content of each web page is clearly visible resave task wa1 do not print at this stage okay so i think it's pretty much visible so you can click on resave okay and uh, the next one says answer these questions on document task wa1 on one of the screenshots identify one formatting technique that you have used okay so i'll go ahead with the last one what i'll do is now it doesn't say it should fit two pages or three pages no none of that is mentioned so i'll take this screenshot to another page so that i can draw arrows and put a text box and say what formatting features i have used so i'll keep the cursor at the end of this image you can see it's blinking right now and i'll press enter and take this to the next page so now over here i'm going to insert an arrow okay and i'm supposed to be identifying uh any one of the formatting features so guys when it comes to formatting features you can talk about any feature that you used to make your web page look more attractive to look more organized so you can talk about borders you can talk about headings you can talk about uh, font color you can talk about uh, uh, what else alignment okay anything that you feel made your web page look more organized look look more attractive you can consider it as a formatting feature okay so but take something that you can explain okay so when it comes to me i can talk very well about the heading so i'm going to draw an arrow towards that okay 
and then I'm going to draw a text box and I'm going to say uh, the formatting feature I have used is used heading 1 for the main heading okay so uh, what is the next question say give one reason for using this technique okay so I can say by setting the main heading to heading 1 the user will be able to immediately immediately identify what is the main heading of this web page okay so I have this is the formatting feature I'm speaking about you can take your formatting feature which you're comfortable in talking about you may want to talk about maybe the font color you might want to talk about removing borders okay so whichever you're conf confident in speaking about draw an arrow towards it mention the feature and then mention uh, then mention what uh, the reason you use this technique okay so if you're done with that then uh, oh there's there's some more coming up there's some more some more questions to be done so you can resave task wa1 and then if you have a printer you can try printing task wa1 okay so if you're printing it just click ctrl p that's a shortcut shortcut key for printing and uh, you can connect to your printer i don't have my printer connected and you can click on print okay let's uh, move on to the next question now i'm done with task wa1 so over here it says open a new document using word processing software enter task wa2 candidate number center number all that save the document as task wa2 so i'll come to my folder right click new word document task wa2 open it immediately go into the footer task wa2 uh, i'll just put this as my uh, number so that's also done and over here it asks me a question uh, display the source code for the click a web page now I have previously told you all in the other past papers there are two ways of uh, viewing the source code of a web page one is you can come directly to the web page itself right click and say view page source this is method number one method number two is you can come to dreamweaver and click on code view so over here you can see the code that was used to create this web page okay whichever you are comfortable with and then the question goes on to say take a screenshot of the source code that clearly shows the hyperlink to your dovia page so from click a or from click a we can go to the dovia page as well right there is a hyperlink that exists so they want to see the coding for that hyperlink okay so i have told you if you are good at coding you can immediately identify where it is you can say okay over here is the coding that connects the click a web page to the dovia web page but if you are not good at coding what you do is you come to the design view and select the dovia text okay this is where the hyperlink exists now select the dovia text automatically in the code view also it gets selected okay so then what you do is you just simply highlight that entire sentence okay and then what do they say take a screenshot of the source code that clearly shows it paste a screenshot in your task wa2 clearly highlight the code for the hyperlink okay so i have already highlighted it now I'm just going to take a screenshot, I'm just going to take a screenshot and I'm going to come and paste that screenshot over here, okay. So I think once you print it out it should be quite visible but if you feel that this is not enough then I would recommend coming into this thing, Google Chrome, zooming in, selecting the code, okay over here you can see uh, ahref means hyperlink, okay, click uh, connecting the dovia.html web page. So you can take a screenshot, print screen, coming over here, control V. Okay, if you're wondering how did I zoom in, shortcut key is control and plus, okay? You have the plus symbol in your keyboard, right? So if you press control and plus together, it will zoom in, okay? And if you're done with that, uh, make sure that the source code for the link to Dovia page is clearly visible. Resave task WA2 and then print task WA2. Okay, so with that, we have come to the end of the web authoring activity okay it looked like it was a very big one it looked like it might take a lot of time but it was pretty simple okay it's just getting that first page done once you get the first page done the other pages are pretty simple you just have to connect them and change the content that's it okay so i hope uh, you benefited i hope you understood i hope you're feeling very confident about web authoring if not do get in touch with me ask me your questions let me know how i can help you okay and uh, next we will be moving on to uh, spreadsheets okay so see you in the next video